In the last video, we got all of our fragments and our tabs set up at the top here. And now we're going to start building our um, functionality for posting, for making new posts. And so the first thing involved in that is obviously building the post fragment and then building the post fragment layout. And I'm going to try something a little different than what I usually do in my videos. Usually I type out the layout like I type it out live, but uh, I find it really boring personally to be typing out layouts. And I'm guessing that a lot of you probably think it's boring too. So I have lots of videos for building layouts if you want to check those out. But for, for this uh, course, I'm just going to paste in the layouts. So head over to my GitHub page. Uh, link is in the description. And you can just get this layout file so that I don't have to waste a whole video typing this out. Um, just copy it and paste it in to fragment post right here. And uh, yeah, that way we can skip all of the building of this layout. So that's good. Now also um, additionally in post fragment, instead of wasting time and instantiating all these widgets and attaching them to their IDs and all that, I've already also done that ahead of time. So again, head over to my GitHub, link is in the description and copy basically all this stuff that I have right here. It's just the widgets, like there's nothing fancy here, just getting the widgets set up so that we can start actually writing some code. So now that we have kind of a, a head start, we can start uh, writing code for this class. So the first thing I'll do is I'll create an, an init method, so public void init. And the first part of making a post is going to be choosing a photo. So if we look at the demo application, that's going to be clicking on this widget right here and getting this dialog to pop up and then either choosing a photo from memory or taking a new one with the camera. So we're going to build this dialog class. So, um, so when a user clicks on the profile image or the, the widget, so uh, what's it called? It's called uh, post image. So M post image. We'll just set an on click listener for that. So opening dialog to choose new photo. And uh, so this is where we're going to create our dialog class. So let's go over into the project pane. And first, I'm going to create the layout for that dialog. So right click on layout, go new layout resource file. And we'll call this uh, dialog choose or dialog select photo dialog select photo and we'll make this a relative layout and once again just to save time um, I don't really want to type this layout out it's a small one but I'm just going to copy paste it in so here it is pretty straightforward if we zoom in a little bit over here basically all it is is a text view that says choose a new photo choose a photo from memory and then another text view that says take a photo meaning take a photo from the camera pretty straightforward once again, link is in the description to my GitHub to this project and just grab the code and copy paste it in. Or if you want to type it out, type it out. Here it all is right here. So now let's create that dialog class. So right click on Java and create a new class in the main package directory. And we're going to call this uh, select photo dialog. And then we are going to extend dialog fragment. And we're going to do control O and get the on create view method. So on create view method and view view equals inflator dot inflate r dot layout and this is where we're going to reference our new layout that we just built and then false and return the view and let's close this project pane to give us some more space so we'll get a log up here and we need uh, a few actually we don't even need any widgets up here we can declare everything in on create view because there's only uh, two widgets we actually have so the first one is a text view for selecting the photo equals text view uh, view find view by ID r dot ID dot uh, dialog choose photo and then select photo set an on click listener new on click listener and I can say accessing phones memory and of course um, if we're accessing the phone's memory we're also going to need to ask from for special permissions which we haven't done yet but we'll get to that later so intent intent equals new intent and this one is going to be intent dot action get content and this is going to be so this is the intent that's going to let, allow us to browse the phone's memory so that we can select a photo and so we're going to go intent dot set type to image and then slash star and then start activity for result and pass our intent and then we need uh, some kind of a, a code I'm going to call this a pick file request code and I'm going to define that as a global variable up here so uh, private static final integer 
pick file request code and you can do call it anything I'm just gonna do one two three four and that will be good so that's gonna be for selecting a photo from memory now we need another one for the camera so for the camera intent so I'm just gonna copy that and I'm gonna say take photo and of course change the ID to dialog open camera and inside here we can change this to starting camera starting camera and then this uh, intent needs to get changed to uh, media store whoops media store and then dot action image capture and then we don't need this extra or this type here we can just start the activity for result and then we also need a special code for the camera so I'm gonna create another final variable public static final integer this one will be camera request code and this one can be for three, two, one. Doesn't matter, just any code. It's it's only for the on activity result method that we're gonna take a look at in a second here. So yeah, let's uh, insert our on activity result method. So on activity, uh, on activity result, and scroll down here. And we just need to catch the two cases for either the pick file request code or the camera request code that I uh, defined above. Results when selecting new image from memory and I got a capital E that I didn't need uh, so this is going to be the case for if the request code equals the pick file request so if request code equals pick file request code uh, and the result code equals activity dot uh, result okay meaning everything went okay then that will be for our uh, pick file request and then we can copy this and I'm going to do one for the camera so I'll say else if uh, we have our camera request code and if it's okay then that's good so results when uh, taking a new uh, new photo with camera okay now let's write in the code for this situation so in this case we're going to be getting a URI object so selected image URI and that's going to be data dot get data that will retrieve the URI and let's just log it saying uh, image URI whoops and then selected image URI and then after all that we need to send the URI to post fragment that's that's our objective after that uh, we're not going to do that yet we're going to need to create an interface for that so I'll get to that in a sec oh I guess and dismiss dialog now let's work on the camera portion here so we can say done taking new photo and we can say bitmap bitmap and bitmap equals bitmap data dot get extras and then get this is just a keyword so you have to say data and that will retrieve that bitmap that you just took and then send the bitmap to post fragment and dismiss dialog so uh, to send the either the bitmap or the URI to post fragment we're going to be using an interface so let's uh, scroll up to the top here and I'm going to create a new interface. So I'm going to go public interface uh, on photo, whoops, on photo selected listener. And inside we're going to have two void methods. One's going to be for the image URI. So I'm going to call it get image path and do image path. And the other one will be get image bitmap and it'll be bitmap bitmap. And that will be our in inter interface. And now we need to uh, insert an on attach on attach and instantiate our interface inside of this on attach method uh, but before we need to do that or before we do that we need to actually create the interface object I forgot to so I'm gonna go on photo selected listener and on photo selected listener there we go now I'll go down into our on attach method and we're gonna surround this in a try catch and catch the class cast exception and just do log e uh, I can just grab this class cast exception plus e dot get message and then inside here we do m uh, photo selected listener equals uh, photo selected or on photo selected listener and then get activity so that will instantiate our listener and now in here we will send our objects to uh, post fragment so m on photo selected listener get image path is the one we're looking for in this scenario and say whoops selected image URI and then down here oh and also dismiss the dialog so get 
dialog and then dot dismiss. And then down here, we're going to do m photo selected listener, get image bitmap, and then pass the bitmap and then get dialog and dismiss the dialog. Cool. So uh, this is a good place to stop. This video is getting kind of long. So in the next one, what we'll do is we'll implement the interface in search activity, which is the activity that's hosting all of the tabs. And then we'll send it to post fragment from search activity. And then we can either uh, upload the URI or upload the bitmap to Firebase. And then we can check permissions. And uh, yeah, so that's probably what we're going to work on next is actually checking the read and write permissions for external storage and also checking permissions for using the camera. So I'll see you guys in that next video.